A lot of the lessons that I give through YouTube are based on and inspired by the in-person coaching that I do and the lessons I give remotely through the Skillist app. If obviously, if you'd like to get coaching, the link is in the description below. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about tempo. I've been taking a lot of my students down tempo town, especially this time of year now, because tempo is massively important, not only for quality of strike, but also for distance. Actually, having a better tempo can even speed your golf swing up. And that sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? But actually by relieving pressure in your arms or in your wrists or in your, in your shoulders, in your scapula, in your rotation, you're actually able to be a little bit more free flowing. And when you've got that club kind of free flowing through the golf swing, then you've got, you've got the ability to start to speed it up. But one of the best drills that I use for helping golfers in great tempo is just a very simple one arm golf swing because straight away to get the golf club around your body, you've got to do a couple of things. You've got to, you've got to loosen up the tension in your arms to get the club all the way back to parallel at the top of the back swing, but also to make the golf club feel a little bit lighter and a bit looser, looser in your swing. You've got to make sure you use your body. Golfers, they get a little bit stiff and this happens really often, especially under pressure. You've got a good score going down the stretch, you start to stiffen up. And what actually happens then is you actually end up with less, a lot of golfers kind of freeze up. I know for myself, my legs freeze up and I get less rotation. As soon as you start to get less rotation, you get less of a swing arc or less, less depth in your backswing and all hell can break loose. So by just kind of that one arm swing, so if you're a right-handed golfer, grab your trail arm, or your right arm and just kind of get that rotation. Just notice how I've got my lead shoulder down towards the golf ball. I've got my club up in behind my head parallel to the ground and I've got my lower body rotated about 45 degrees or so. And then from there, I'm just going to release it. And what you'll, find, what you'll feel is the club just releasing quite nicely through the impact zone. So you start to let go of the club at the moment of impact. Now, the only little swing thought I want you to try and maintain is keeping this trail elbow in quite close to your body. I'm just trying to keep the armpit closed. So you get to the top there, you've got good rotation, you've got the club just kind of nice and loose in the hands, and then you're coming back down, trail elbow staying in quite close to your body, and then you're able to release it on the way through. And you start to see even here, I've got that release on the way through. I've got that kind of re-hinging on the way through. The weight of the club head is gonna help you do that, okay? Because once you start taking the club away, the weight of the club is gonna help you hinge your wrist, okay? So you start to get into a nice kind of rhythmical, was that a word? Motion, rotate, release, rotate, release. And you start to also understand where the release should be. A lot of golfers that maybe cast it or swing it out to win will do two things. They'll get disconnected here in the armpit and the club will start to release early. Majority of the time the club releases early because it needs to, it has to get back to the golf ball and it's improvising to help your fault on the transition. But where you're doing here, you're kind of using the weight of the club, the weight of the head to, ma to maintain the hinge, to maintain the path and just to kind of get that nice released action back down into the golf ball. You can then do this with your lead arm, which I generally find a little bit more difficult. Maybe my left arm's weaker. But what you're doing then is you're trying to make sure that it feels easier to do because you're rotating. Again, under pressure, if your body starts to stiffen up and you don't, you stop rotating, then this club is going to feel quite heavy. Also, you're not going to have the flexibility or the motion, the range of motion to get the club in behind your body. You've got to get that rotation so now the club gets back into position. And then on the way through, you'll definitely start to feel the club again, releasing nicely through the hands and through the impact zone. So you know you're getting up into this nice hinge position on the through swing. In fact, we're gonna go ahead, gonna give that a nice go. Just get, a sen just get that sensation that the club is just feeling looser in my hands. Just get the two arms working together, allow the rotation. Once you've got that rotation, the golf swing does honestly feel so much lighter, so much easier in the hands to release the golf club. You've got much more spatial awareness of where the club is. It feels lighter, it feels softer. And this is what I was saying at the very start of the video. Tempo doesn't have to be slow. Tempo is consistency. Tempo is 
being in control of the movement. And if you've got a good tempo, I can actually help you speed your golf swing up and make a better action at the same time. And that feels like a bit of a double whammy. Why not make the golf swing easier, speed it up with less effort? Sold, take that. One of my favorite drills that I do a lot with my skillless clients as well online is the feed together drill. It's a classic. It is a classic. I've used this since I was that big, okay? Because all you need to do, you get your feet close together and you rotate it. Now, if you want to hit a golf shot that's a decent strike with decent distance and a decent kind of length of golf swing through this method, you have to move your body. You have to rotate rotation is going to be the key to a good tempo because the rotation of your body allows and encourages the rotation and the hinging of your wrists and the movement of the golf club throughout the swing and that's what we want to see we want to see this kind of range of motion happen with your feet together if you can do it with your feet together it gets even easier to do it as you're in that kind of fuller position on the way back. So feet together is an amazing little drill to start with. You can start this on your wedges, start it on your chipping, start it with your 50, 60 degree shots, work up to a seven iron feet together drill, and then slowly start to widen your stance. And what you'll find with the difference between here and here is that you've got a bigger rotation, you've got a bigger turn, you've got a bigger circle. So this swing is gonna be a lot faster but the movements are going to be very much the same. All right, guys, there's two of my favorite drills to take you down to Tempo Town. Make sure you've got the body rotating. Make sure you've got the confidence in yourself to kind of get a nice full arc. Use your rotation wisely. That's always, like I said, going to help you with the movement of your hands as well. And then just absolutely grip it and rip it guys thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video hit the like hit the subscribe and i'll see you for plenty more educational content